Hello everyone, how's it going? Scramble here from Emotional Crypto Trading. As usually, we're going to talk about Ethereum's price analysis, technical details, and everything that is important for a better trading process, understanding of the market, and efficiency. Here we are with another red day, guys, which is something that we see across the whole markets, especially the fact that we have the yield bonds increasing than basically traditional markets have been suffering within the past hours, including all over the world. So crypto space is also following the environment of the whole space in terms of trading. And this is reflected in a low volume of trading, including a loss of $2 trillion market cap support we had, and then followed with a pretty sustained selling pressure that we have seen all around the corner that is obviously not something we would have expected for a January. And this is basically a little problematic situation out there. So we would like to look into the numbers and see everything in details in terms of Ethereum's price analysis over the next few minutes, guys. So here we are. We're talking about four hours today which is a little shorter term than the daily or anything uh, close to that. And uh, we're looking at the charts where we can see extremely, extremely interesting levels on which we're located. At the moment, there is an interesting representation on the market that is followed on a massive downtrend, as you can see. This is a downtrend that has been able to uh, you know, be established uh, which has been confirmed on 30th of November. So this is a you know, short term perspective because we've been uh, in a massive downtrend for a while already. However, since 30th, since 1st of December, we've been selling off quite hard without any substantial pump out of the downturning resistance line. And that's obviously a sign that we're getting very, very close to the end of this especially that right now we're pretty much close to the support line of the downtrending uh, channel. So this is very, very interesting, guys, how the support line has been acting in the past at this levels. When we were trading under the support line has been acting as a resistance, as you can see, and now we're expecting it to act as a support. However, we have certain things they are still holding us, such as the 2700 bucks major support zone, which you know starts back here and it is still alive and it's very, very strong. At that level, there is a lot of the confluence and massive buying pressure. In the meantime, locally, there are a couple of things that I'd like to address with you. So I'm going to zoom in a little more and discuss about the things. Uh, there is an encircled price action here, right under the support line that we have this one that specific insert um, price action based on the candlesticks there is a order block of liquidity located there and that structure that's what represents now what does it mean is a technical term uh which i pretty much developed myself based on a strategy which i you know teach basically during the coaching program extensively but in a nutshell at the moment, we have tons of liquidity there off longs. So touching that price is beneficial for the whales and the exchanges to wipe out a lot of the liquidity. We did touch that and we're seeing a reaction in the market. The only question is, as we usually say, and the most popular question, which is always a debate, is, is a reaction sufficient or it is necessarily to have a sort of a domination. Is it the same reacting and dominating? And I'll tell you, it's not basically. There are two different concepts in trading, reaction and domination, and fundamentally different. We can only trade with the direction of the market. If there is domination, we should not trade if with the direction of the market is just reaction. So at the moment, there's still 35 minutes to have the candlestick closed, but right now there is just a reaction of the bulls at that level where liquidity has been grabbed, which could be a place of reversal. And they would front run the one expecting the markets to touch the green line again. So that would be a good thing for the exchanges and the whales. 
Now, that's the price action located here. What we had on the tops, because you know we have a structure there representing clearly the tops with selling pressure at a time, the pressure has been expected. And that's quite problematic. We see the wicks, we see the price action, we see the language behind the market. It is clear that the domination has been very powerful from the bearish side. And what's the thing, guys? Well, the price action can be very tricky if you don't see the whole picture uh, with all the details. Because if you look in a minor place, you will be able to see a lot of the bullishness, for example, here, right? You see that long body, uh, let me just zoom into a little more. You see the long body going upwards with a huge wick under it. Well, that's clearly a, a powerful movement of the bulls, which has to be confirmed on a support level. That place where it has started, it's not a level of support. So obviously the movement can be a fuel with fake volume, which is what happens usually. So there's a big difference between the real movements that are happening at the time they should, and we can predict them. And there is another representation when a movement is happening at a time it shouldn't. So, that's clearly uh, having a very, very small possibility of prediction. Now, there has been a lot of the bearishness afterwards, and the engulfings are major signs of bearishness. Meanwhile, we tried. There has been lots of people thinking and believing in this, uh, you know, higher low that we had over there. This, it was a higher low. A lot of the people have been believing into that. Look at that. That was a beautiful long and unfortunately it has not survived however this is not happening pretty often and clearly we have external influence towards the markets from the traditional markets of the trading world which have been plummeting the space because otherwise at this time we should have been basically pumping towards the resistance line breakout go to the golden pocket which is in between the two yellow lines and then basically pull back to the green line again. This is a deviation area of the structure, that one right there, which is a perfect area to accumulate strength. You accumulate strength over there and you have the ability to push directly to the powerful resistance stop, which is the blue line located right there. For example, that's 10%, can be done in a single day, usually when you're pumping from a deviation uh, area. So this is the current situation, guys. We need to expect the dominance. Reactions will not be sufficient during these cases. And if the traditional markets are still plummeting towards, we're not going to see anything green in the crypto market. Meanwhile, the NFTs are building all-time highs in pumping. Projects are setting 500% floor increases in sort of a way, seven days period. In the uh, you know, sometimes I have seen a project recently doing extremely well from one Ether floor up to 10 Ether floor, which is a profit of $30,000, guys, uh, in a single week, by the way, with uh, every single NFT you have been purchasing. So there is a whole lot of the projects. I'm very, very deep into that space. And, uh, you know, I do... NFT flipping since January 2021 on my secondary YouTube channel you will be able to find out more details about the performance so that's pretty much all about for today make sure to subscribe and hit the like button of the video we are getting forward to better days as soon as we touch the support which is going to trigger a huge volume into the bullishness guys so make sure in the meantime for those of you looking to participate with me in my movement of trading where we do full trading done for you through API. We're connecting your exchange and we perform the trading. These are the results that I had within the past years. And this is how it works represented on the right side. It's all on scrambocoaching.com slash today. Link in the description area or a comments area right below this video. And then for anyone out there looking to become a professional trader, feel free to check out scrambocoaching.com simply uh, where I'm talking about my one-on-one uh, you know, -on -one coaching, which is an intensive private coaching, uh, which is running directly with me on Zoom conversations during four to six weeks. 
you will be learning how to trade, how to think like a trader, act like a trader, and build your trading career. So make sure to check out a video, register now, and I'll get back to you on your email. That's pretty much for a moment. Have a beautiful time, and we'll talk to you soon.